an absolutely fabulous entertainer who's had us in hysterics for over 30 incredible years. Before we chat with the super talented Jennifer Saunders, a quick reminder where it all began with her old friend, Dawn French. Well, I can't see kneecap hill marked anywhere on this map. Are you sure that's what they said, Dick? Of course I'm sure. Do you think I'm balmy or something? Steady on, you two. Wait a minute, everybody. Look at this. What is it, Anne? Well, it's only a hunch. Well, go on, go on. Look, there's a village here, Crutchley, and along here there's Thigh Woods. Well, what about it? Well, down here there's a village called Ankle on the Water, so maybe this hill here in the middle is Kneecap Hill. Gosh, you're right, Anne. Good show. That's pretty smart for a girl. Luke. Come on, everybody. Let's make our way to Kneecap Hill as quick as ever we can. Come on, yes. Timmy. <laughs> so, how long ago was that? Where was that? <laughs> that was the opening night of Channel 4, 1985. No. And you yes. had tonsillitis, which is why you were speaking like that. I know. Like that. I was just <laughs> listening to that. Going, hey, man, Timmy. <laughs> I actually had tonsillitis. So it wasn't acting at all? No, it wasn't acting at all. <laughs> it's so, lovely to have you here. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much for coming in. And I was just saying, this is probably my favourite start to an interview ever because the book's here. Mm -hmm. Here it is, Jennifer Saunders' Bonkers. Mm -hmm. And my first question is, we can blame Claire Balding yes, for this. Yes, it's all her fault. Why is this her fault? Any complaints, send them to Claire Balding. <laughs> Why? Well, because I was never going to, thinking I would never write a book. And, um, and yet I read Claire Balding's book and I thought, oh, she's managed to write a sort of funny book that's also quite touching isn't over revealing about anything and is entertaining and I thought oh that's quite clever and I suddenly thought well it's more like a comedy project rather than a writing project and mm. a sort of revelation project and I went to her book opening and met her editor and he persuaded me how and long that did it was take? that three glass of wine yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your biggest problem though actually was remembering mm. everything the mm. sort of moments of your life that you just had to t struggle sure we to all have that don't we Holly? my memory's terrible <laughs> 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 You're not going to remember anything. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> You're right. No, but you do. I mean, this whole this whole years <laughs> that have gone by, and people. Do you remember that thing you did? Um, apparently, I once it was in an advert with Peter Cook. Okay. Now you think you'd remember mm. being in something with Peter Cook, but I had no recollection of it at all. So did really... you, what did you do? Get a bunch of people together yeah, and just I talk me through my life. Yes, I did. <laughs> I, I put a call out. Yeah. If you've seen me doing anything, please <laughs> let me know. Um, and no, I went to my friends, and, and then I had someone interview me for two weeks solidly every day, to for me to try and work things into a story and yeah. try and remember mm. more and and sort of work it into a sort of chronological order. Well, what you have remembered is that uh, is yes. that you and Jennifer, uh, you Dawn. and Dawn, when you first met, um, you uh, you didn't really click. You didn't get on that much. You were in different groups. We were in different groups. I mean, it's not like we just saw each other and went, <laughs> Yeah. You know, we, we just were in different, different sort of groups of friends. And so what was the moment she when... She did look annoying. Did she look annoying? Yes, she had a cord um, pencil skirt. Fawn. <laughs> Fawn pencil skirt. Yeah. yeah. Um, and a baseball cap on backwards. <laughs> Never a good idea for a girl. <laughs> I can understand that. So, so when, when did you, you know? Yeah, when was it? When did it click? <clears throat> well, we moved into a flat together. We shared a flat together in, um, from, I think, the second year at college onwards. And, um, and we just sort of bonded, I think, because we had a lot of spare time. You see, everyone else probably had jobs and that sort of thing to go mm. to. We were just sort of, mm, at college. And we, we used to do make up silly jokes and pranks. Well, and you made each act. other laugh, didn't you? Yeah, that was the m most important thing. We yeah. found that we encouraged each other's laugh, which was the, the best thing. Well, you terrorised the people around you. You sort yes. of made, made heads out of cabbages and bashed them on people's yes, windows. Yes, we did. We used to lower them down and bang them on windows so they'd blow the curtains and there'd be a head. <laughs> Cabbage oh, head! I was <laughs> 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 a heart attack. And so was it from there it when funny. you pushed the sofas back in, in your digs and pushed the, and, and performed? Yes, then we, got, we, used, to, think, then we used to spend the day making up like an act. An old circus act was the first one called the Men of Patsy Sisters. And um, when everyone else was in the evening watching telly, we'd go in and say, right, move the, move the sofas back, move the sofas back, we need a performance floor. And we would come in and perform for them, applaud ourselves, bow and leave. Were, were, those, performance, <laughs> were those performances and those characters ones that you use later on when you when Yeah, you we used them in, the, in our live work for quite a few years. Yeah. I know. Uh, odd, the, isn't it? That area, the, I mean, the hugely successful area, everybody I think knows. We've, you know, we've you've discussed it here. Mm. Um, but when it when it finally came to an end, because that's such a massive part of your life, hugely mm. successful. Um, when you were with 
Jennifer in, in Auckland. Dawn. Did you have you see, uh, you with Dawn? I've done it again. Sorry, Jennifer. Jen. Um, when you were with Dawn in Auckland, <laughs> did you have did you have tattoos matching tattoos? <laughs> I told you about the memory thing. He says it's me. I can't it's remember anything. Look, look, see that? <laughs> Jennifer Saunders. Oh, I'm Bonkers. I'm sorry, Jen. Oh, dear. <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> did you have matching tattoos? <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> what do you mean, Dawn or Jennifer? I don't remember. I don't remember. Really. Well, you've both got them. <laughs> yes, so we have both got them. Both ways. They are matching, but they're in different places. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of who's sitting here. <laughs> Where's yours? Well, Philip. <laughs> yes, I do. I Philip. I... <laughs> oh, my oh. God. No, we do uh, have matching tattoos. We had them done to mark the end of our, our act. And that's the, that, I mean, that's the end of the live, though, isn't it? But it's you, the end of the I live. Mean, we're still, well, we're still doing radio, and we yeah. still, yeah. Um, we will still work together, yeah. But the end of sketches and the live and work, the going and on is tour. there an ad fab movie? There isn't, but <laughs> there will there be. Because yes. have you, have you, I have how sort of close are you to I'm finishing it? I'm very close to picking up a pen. Oh, right, OK. Well, that's, <laughs> that's how close it is. Can you get very close to that? Because it's one of my favourite oh, things. Oh, OK, I'll get even closer. But after Christmas, there's okay, so much to get do Christmas before. Christmas out the way. And then, yes, I don't want to write it before Christmas. That would be silly. <laughs> Not uh, that so, long. No, I'll do it after. Um, the uh, the other thing we should just very briefly touch on, and once mm. again, it's you know, it's been discussed a lot, was uh, was the fact that you had been unwell and, mm -hmm. and, and battled through breast cancer, and uh, and thankfully, uh, battle's not well. a word we use. No, I know, I'm sure. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what would you What would you use? Um, you got through it. You yeah. got through it. But the, what I did want to touch on is something you mentioned in the book, is mm. the fact that you, uh, uh, after everything you went through, um, you got great boobs. Like a, yes, good, like I a know, boob job. I know. We well, see, I was very, very lucky, and that's the point, which is that because my boobs were so enormous to begin with, um, they could, they could um, do the lumpectomy without having to do a mastectomy. Yeah. But to do the lumpectomy, they had to take um, enough flesh out around um, the lumps. Um, so one bosom was going to be smallened and he said to me do you want the other one smallened and I said or what <laughs> what I just have one huge one and one small one <laughs> and I said no of course yes I want the other one smallened too please mm -hmm. so I ended up with two smallened bosoms which was like result um, um, thank you so much for coming in you're looking now and those are smallened I don't know I'm crazy this is the book it's uh, it's uh, Jennifer Saunders uh, bonkers yes. my life in laughs uh, please give my love to Jennifer when you see it I'm, I'm a big fan <laughs> thank you thank you very much thank you.